Whoa, and now I'm craving your body. Yes, it's clear. Temperature rising. I don't want to be ill. I'm in the wrong place to be real. Whoa, and I longing to love you just for one night. Kissing and hugging and holding you tight. Please let me love you with all my might. Feel free to sing along at home. Reasons, the reasons that we're here. The reasons that we feel our feelings won't disappear. Oh, and after the love games have been played, all our illusions were just a parade. And all of our reasons start to fade. It's my favorite song in the whole world. Earth, Wind, and Fire is called Reasons. Was it too much nipple on that shot? Good. Because I don't want to start over. We talk about the reasons why things happen. Some of them are real reasons, some of them are false reasons. Remember this, Mike? Thanks, by the way. I'll get back to you in a second. You would think that I would be happy about the way the match went with the CEO. I'm not. You would think I'd be mad that the Wolf Pack, namely Mike Brown, jumped me after the match. I'm not. Let's go down the list. Let me start by saying, because I was so focused on Kedrick and going into a match that I had no chance of winning, I know I backed you into a corner. I knew you had the whole wave division on your shoulders. That's fine. Let me start at the bottom. Ron, with the stuffed shirt. You black Scott Steiner looking, Arnold Schwarzenegger wannabe, nice house having, steroid junkin' wishing you were, stuffing your shirt like seventh grade chicks stuff they bras? Let me show you something. That's the arm of Jesus. That's 26 inches. And oh yeah, only the top half. It's cushion. But I'll show you that one day. I'm not Kedrick in the gym hitting them 20 pound weights. Acting like he lifted the 150 that I was. I'm not hitting that 40 ounce curl getting sweaty after the first two. Nah, I get it in. So when you're ready to consistently drop hot promos. And then you want to come jump on the big dog. I will be ready for you when you grow up. Speaking of grow up. Brandon. I've been wanting to ask you a question for a long time. Your profile picture, is that a mic in your hand? Or is that mic in your hand? You was irrelevant in DX. You're barely relevant now. You're only relevant because you're tag teaming with the greatest champion of all time. In the DMVF. Stay in your lane. You are riding side saddle, cowboy. You're not ready to ride with the big dogs. Stay on the porch and let grown folks talk. And when grown folks talk... Close your mouth. Go ahead, the bottom of this, cloud your Z's. Oh, you're boring me. Oh, but your girl was over here last night, but everything's so boring. Nigga, pop a five-hour energy and hit the weight room and get on. I will deal with you when I deal with you. Second to last, because that's what's happening now. Right now, the world championship is afterthought. Kedrick, something doesn't really sit right with me about the way the match ended. I feel like it looked like I lost fair and square, but the truth of the matter is I had no chance of winning that match from the very get go. From the get go, I know I trapped you in the corner. I know I backed you and boxed you in. You had no choice. You bought everything you had to me, and you still almost lost. But we want to see what kind of champion you are in the long run, because right now the world title is in the hands of somebody who couldn't have cut a hot promo with a samurai sword. So I'm hoping you prove the critics wrong. Because, man, my inbox blew up. Oh, Big Hurt, you know what? We're riding with you. Yo, Big Hurt, they did you dirty. I'm not 
concerned with the whole locker room right now. I'm concerned with one guy, Mike Brown. Mike, it doesn't make sense that you would attack me after I lost the match. I mean, you want that world title, right? So why would you attack me instead of the world champion? I think we all know the answer to that. You say you got to beat me to get in the Hall of Fame? You might not get in. I'm not on the road to redemption. I'm not going to fall down and die. Y'all think that the, that the NWO is going to go out like DX? We're just going to curl up and be like, oh, no, we're broken up. No, 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 no. My family's still tight. Joker J, Jason Terrell, poetry. You got a problem? You come holler at us. We're not going nowhere. Doesn't matter how many people we job to. We're still going to be right here doing what we've been doing. Cutting the hot promos. Raising the bar that only so few people can get to. Raising the bar higher than the last couple of world champions can reach. And creating new stars. That's where we'll be at. Ain't nowhere else we'll be in the main event. Because now, nobody cares what's happening in the world title match. They care what's going to happen to you, Mike. Oh my God. Mike Brown versus the Big Hurt. What's going to happen? The same thing that always happens. Whether it's in the ring and I beat your ass. Or you pull up to my house and I beat your ass. Mike, nothing's going to change. You say I failed you, life failed you. You failed the corporation. You failed your road to redemption. The only reason those tag team titles are relevant is because me and Joker J made them relevant. We were beating everybody. Assault weapons, royalty, the first package of the wolf pack that came at us. You and Brandon called us. You know, I was focused on other things. Joker J was focused on other things. Didn't even invoke the rematch cause. So you keep wrestling the lead pipe and the broomstick. Let's talk about who you job to. I lost a kiss my foot match and nobody cares. You know why? Because the guy I lost to also, also is irrelevant. There's only two relevance dogs right now. That's the Wolf Pack and the NWO Black and White. And I will take my squad to war with your squad any day of the week. You want to stack the deck against us? That's just fine. Kendrick Jones says, oh, yeah, no, I'm no longer with the Wolf Pack. I'm in the 4-on-1 match, gauntlet match. That's fine. Jason Terrell's in a handicap match. That's cool. You know what? We're going to keep raising that bar higher than y'all can reach. You know why? Because we don't give a fuck. Come get us. And just so y'all know, to the edge of your storylines, next promo, I'm going to show y'all my dick. I got monkeys on my wall.